This week, we check out Yemi Adamolekun, a social activist committed to building a culture of good governance and public accountability in Nigeria. Let's check her out. I believe every human being has a purpose. I'm living out my purpose and I am true to myself, as William Shakespeare said, so then all self be true. My name is Yemi Adamolekun. I'm an advocate for good governance. Check me out. I fell in love with mathematics, it was easy. Two plus two equals four, there was always an answer. And that was why I decided to do it as a first degree. But my father thought it would be a bit limiting. So along the way, I added economics to it. After my undergraduate degree, I wanted to do a PhD in economics and basically just study the connection between economic policy and governance. But I didn't quite frame it well. So I decided a good stepping point would be to do a master's in development studies. And after several years in the private sector and wanting to pivot within the space, I decided to do an MBA. After my master's degree, I moved back to the US and started off in a consulting company. I did that for a few years. And after that, I moved and interestingly worked for a church for four years. And by the time I was done with that, I was getting quite restless. And that's when I decided to move back to Nigeria. I moved back in 2009. I was doing my national youth service in 2010. At the time, two young gentlemen, uh, well, at the time, two did you had written an email titled Where is the Outrage, which led to a protest that happened in Abuja. A friend of mine, Bisola Edwin, invited me to the protest and I thought, hey, this sounds like fun. So we did a protest in Abuja in March, did a protest in Lagos in April. And this was around President Yadua being missing, dead or alive, the country wasn't sure. There were a lot of killings in Jos, and there was full scarcity. After that, the question was then, would we always protest when we're angry? We decided that 2011 was an election year and we would work to turn youth angst into election energy, so to speak. So the idea was to set up an organization that helped young people channel their energy and their anger into participating in the electoral process. So in January 2011, Enough is Enough was started. NIE is really just about good governance. The idea is that we want to build a community of Nigerians who understand the power of being active citizens and are able to hold public officials accountable. We also have three structured programs. One is around elections. So our election campaign is called RSVP. It's based on the popular acronym Responde Silver Play, or in Nigerian parlance, rice and stew, very plenty. But the R stands for register, the S stands for select, select credible candidates, V, vote, and we partnered with the Chubaba Foundation, so it's now called Vote Not Fight, and then P, protect your vote, RSVP. So our election work is under RSVP, and then our Office of the Citizen campaign. We believe that the Office of the Citizen is the highest office in the land, so we are very deliberate about educating citizens about the rights and responsibilities that they have. This is primarily done on social media, which is free and cheap, but uh, free and accessible to a certain demographic. But over the last five, six years, we've started doing programs on radio. And lastly, legislative advocacy. Our fundamental belief is that for a body, i.e. the National Assembly, that approves the budget for the country, they should start by being accountable and transparent about their budget. In 2017, we were successful and were able to get the National Assembly to make their budget public. They hadn't done that before. And unfortunately, I think because of the feedback that they got from that, they haven't done it since. We continue to engage and encourage them to do so. And the other aspect of that is also electronic voting. As I'm sure anybody that's seen the National Assembly, all in favor say aye, aye. But you don't have a record of who said what. And how do you engage your legislator if you don't know how they voted on a particular situation? We've gotten a lot more young people involved in the democratic process. Is it where we want it to be? Certainly not, because Nigeria reflects the fact that it's not where it needs to be. For the fact that more young people are running for office, more young people are asking questions, political parties are engaging, are all tied to the fact that Enough is Enough and other organizations are, have been successful in teaching citizens or explaining to citizens that in a democracy, the citizen is actually the most powerful. My name is Yemi Adamalekum. I'm an advocate for good governance, and you've just checked me out. Mm -hmm.